Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. It's the 11th. It's January. It's 2020, and it was 61 degrees here in the middle of January in Boston. That's totally normal, but clearly, obviously, it's proof of climate change that it's been in the 40s and now the 60s all January. So that's totally normal. Nothing to see here, folks. Everything is good. Pay no mind to the man behind the curtain. Okay, so check this out. First of all, I'm starting early. Second of all, so many trolls is what happens when you're on both channels. I don't know why I did this on both channels. I hit the button by mistake. It happens. That's what the moderators are for. What's up, Andrea McLean? So check this out. I got to do this right off the bat. So take a look at this real quick. You might notice the hashtag next to my name. Remember this video? You should, because I just did it last night. And in this video, I was showing you my cardboard butler, and then I showed you the cardboard cutout, and I said, you know what's crazy? I didn't even realize when I was talking about Coral Castle that there was a cardboard cutout that looked exactly like the cardboard cutout behind me. Well, the cardboard cutout behind me was sent to me by Peabody's mom, and sadly, as I was making that video last night talking about that strange coincidences that always happen, Peabody's mom died last night at a very young age of breast cancer. And I just went back and forth with her in emails not too long ago. I mean, I'm talking like a couple of months ago. And if you guys remember, I did a couple of live streams where I was saying, uh, you know, almost all the footage Almost all the links I was using were from, you know, Mimi Praise or Peabody's mom, so forth and so on. And suddenly she stopped sending emails and she stopped sending links. And it was crazy, you know, and I, I hit up, uh, one of her friends hit me up and said that she's sick. She's got pneumonia. Well, it turns out that pneumonia was complications from breast cancer. And she died last night, which freaks me out. I mean, she was a young young lady and this is her right here if i can find it here it is and this is what her friend sent me last night or this morning i'm sorry her name was pauline sadly i don't know her last name but she also sent me uh pardon my language but that was first thing in the morning i couldn't believe it she was 48 years old her birthday was 2 18 71 and her friend said that she had breast cancer. It spread to her brain, spine, and then all her organs. And she's gone. So if everybody wants to, you know, take a moment of silence. I was looking up a prayer, and I was reminded by the King James Version that we're not supposed to pray for or to the dead. So I'm just going to say my heart goes out to her family, and she was a good person. So as far as I know, she sent me all sorts of genetically modified free she did organic farming and she literally sent me an enormous box of um <sighs> zucchini tomatoes uh she made this bomb ass salsa and i mean i just had this two months ago it wasn't 10 years ago it was just and then suddenly she got sick and then suddenly she's gone so there is that so that's kind of lame but just wanted to say that. So if anybody happened to notice that she was no longer in the chat or no longer moderating, it's because she's gone. So there is that. It's not my loss. It's all our losses. She was a nice person. She went through a lot of time and energy to ship me a bunch of organic vegetables she grew on her property in Washington State all the way to Massachusetts. You know what I'm saying? So there is that. At any rate, all right, let's get this going because it's going to be more great news, basically. You know what I mean? It's crazy. It's crazy how fast it, I mean, she just sent me salsa a couple of months ago. She just sent me the butler. We we're talking about it last night. It's just, it's crazy. Whatever. Not whatever. It is what it is. What are you going to do? All right, here we go. I got a bunch of emails from people asking me, in my opinion, how far do I think these guys are going to go? They're going to go all the way. It is going to be absolutely, totally, completely, 100% hectic. 
There's our national debt. Look at those numbers just spinning along. No big deal. $23 million. And that's what they show the public. That's what they show the public. Do you see what I mean? With the derivatives and every other thing that these guys do, it's at like $150 trillion. And it's even at $23 trillion, there isn't $23 trillion worth of cash and prizes on this earth to pay it back. Why are they doing this? Because they don't care. They don't care. These guys are at an all-you-can-eat buffet, and they're not paying the bill. They sent all of their companies, all of the – everything the United States had that was worth anything, anything, gold, silver, oil, et cetera, all got sent out of the country. These guys are going to – absolutely they're, they're literally driving it like you stole it. Exactly. They're driving the country like they stole it. Because they did, and people still are not waking up. MDMT. I thought, remember last night, I thought that was um, MDMA. My bad. At any rate. So there's that. There's your first answer. This right here should be a huge harbinger. They're they're running up the national debt because they don't care. And they're, I mean, where are the protests in the street from the actual people that live here that are concerned about this? Nobody seems to care. It's no big deal. Nobody even, when's the last time? You talk to a regular person and they brought up like, can you believe the national debt is just skyrocketing the way it is? Nope. No big deal. It's not, it's a non-topic. No big deal. So what was that? I just lost it right there. Yeah. I hear that all the time. Um, it, it is what it is. We're, we're, where we're at. So there is that. But let me show you something, because I just tried to go videotape the uh, the full moon coming up, and I couldn't because of the chemtrailing. 60 degrees, but chemtrailing. So I couldn't get anything on video, but the, the, the tide was way, way, way out. And the tide, the sand on the beach is probably covered with 5 million tiny white clamshells. This keeps happening. Dude, beat it, all right? I complain. I'm reading you the news. If you don't like it, don't come here. I don't even know who you are. I love these people. You complain a lot. Yeah, I just gave a eulogy for a woman that died, and I just showed you the national debt. What a whiner I am, huh? Let's just put our heads in the ground and wait for Jesus to come back and save us all, and everything will be fine. It's unbelievable, man. Absolutely unbelievable to me. You complain a lot. You never tell anybody how to fix any of this. Actually, I've told you it pretty much every single solitary time, but people choose not to hear it. But I'll digress on that. How's that? Here's another complaint I have. Look at all these animals dying off in record numbers. And I'm not even talking numbers like, you know, 10% of the bees and birds are gone. It's 40 and 50%. And those are just the numbers that we know about. Do you know what I'm saying? But somebody already posted in the chat, hey, I'm in Boston. It's 60 degrees. Where are all the birds? Where are all the birds? Well, there aren't any. There really aren't any. So I'm not actually grumpy, dude. I'm, yeah, yeah. You're grumpy. Yeah, you're grumpy. I'm, what the fuck ever? Exactly, 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 exactly. It is. And so and 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 it happens when you have a chat up for a couple of hours before you go live, they all jump in there. Going to the going to the woods every night or to the beach, there's no life. The only thing there is is dead. You know what I'm saying? There are no birds. I, I have to wait around for two hours with a camera trying to get an owl on footage on 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 uh video. You know what I'm saying? And it's almost impossible. Maybe one in the entire woods, which is lame because the woods in Lynn is huge, huge. And then they keep putting up these lists like this. And this is uh, this is endtimesprophecy.org. But then there's also Time Magazine. And they're like, there's a strange thing going on with animals dying. And then they give, you know, then they give a, a bullshit excuse. And people are like, oh, Time Magazine told me why. All the southern blackbirds, all the American hum honeybees, bats with white nose syndrome, Chilean birds and sardines, Australian pilot whales, hippopotamuses, frogs, pelicans, 
Mongolia's livestock. They just call it that. They don't even name it. Just Mongolia in general's livestock and sea turtles in El, in El Salvador. All dying mysteriously. Nobody can figure out why. It's impossible to figure out why. It certainly has nothing to do with the nonstop, never-ending chemical barrage that comes sprinkling down on us every single solitary day that I complain about. <laughs> blocking out the sun. What a complainer. Get over it. Get a sun lamp and you'll be fine. You know what I mean? Absolutely stunning to me. That even made me laugh. I think that's actually kind of funny. Sad, but it's still kind of funny. You know what I'm saying? Does anybody remember anybody asking your opinion on this? You know what I'm saying? Anybody ever ask anybody's opinion on spraying the sky, blocking out the sun, Bouncing the sun's rays back into outer space to save us all? Well, the funniest thing about all of that is they've been doing it forever. And as a matter of fact, I've been on YouTube for 10 years. 10 years doing this, right? 10 years. And you know why I got on YouTube? Because I was making videos about the airplanes over my house spraying the skies out that were doing it forever, but I just didn't happen to notice it. It took me a long time. It, it must have taken me... Do I give the sign of the cross when I pray? No, not at all. Um, I remember working with my helper and thinking, you know what's crazy? The sky's blue. We can see we can see the sky up there, but there's always like a blanket of clouds in the way. You know what I'm saying? And it didn't dawn on me. It didn't dawn on me. I don't know exactly what caught my attention. But one day I noticed that they were spraying really bad and I just started recording it and I put it on YouTube and it was the worst video ever, but it was still me swearing like a freight train, smoking like a freight train and basically calling it out like, yep, they haven't started spraying the sky yet, but they'll be here at four o'clock and they did and the videos are still up. So it amazes me that the regular people on this earth, the non-conspiratorial, non-complaining Non-God believing people just have no issue with them blocking out the sun. These are the same guys that clearly can't even balance the budget, even even a little. I mean, they can't even get it within trillions of dollars being really bad. It's tens of trillions, it's actually hundreds of trillions, but you're gonna let those people spray the sky and block out the sun, and you think there won't be any ill effects, and you don't think they're already doing it. I mean, these are the same people that lied about going to war with Iraq. These are the same people that lie about absolutely everything. As soon as I get in, I'm going to get a special team and Hillary's going to jail. How long did that last? It didn't even last a half a day because as soon as he got sworn in, Bill and Hillary are phenomenal people. I love the, they've done so much for this country. It's, 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 it's amazing. It's staggering. It makes my orange hair flap in a happy way. You know what I mean? It's amazing. Amazing. But these are also the people that are doing things like, well, gee, not mentioning this, because this is probably why I'm getting millions and millions of baby clamshells washing up on the beach. Do you know what I'm saying? Because no one even talks about this anymore. And this entire thing was insane because... You can't prove it, but it sure does look like that was harp technology that they used. You know what I mean? The uh, An earthquake directly pinpoint underneath the nuclear power plant. Remember all that? Remember all that? Because they don't talk about it anymore, but it's still just sitting over there dumping filth into the ocean. And it's not the only place. How far are they going to go with this? Well, they're going to destroy the air. They're going to kill all the trees. They're going to kill all the birds. They're going to kill all the bees. And... That's not a theory. It's the news, and it's actually old news. Half the bees and half the birds, and I mean, that's just the numbers they're giving us. Who knows? How many videos did I make over the last three years where I'm saying, I don't see any bees out here? We got flowers all over the place. I'm not seeing any bees. There's no birds in the forest. Like, where else would they be? At Starbucks? Dunkin' Donuts? Oh, they're down Market Basket. There's a big sale on sunflower seed. Like, where are they? Well, they all flew. Yeah, I understand that. But there's also birds that stay here. That's, you know, not all birds fly south for the winter. So there is that. Just FYI. So they're absolutely spraying the skies. 
telling people they're spraying the skies now, which scares me because, like I said, they were spraying the skies all along, and then suddenly they came out with it, and we were wondering how bad it was going to get. Well, it's really, really, really bad. The only time we see the sun here in the Northeast is when it's freezing out, absolutely freezing out. So, yeah, all right, dude. And I'll get to leave here in the red. Yeah, who are you? You're new here, right? Okay, okay. Okay, that's a good one. In the rapture. That's all right. You're right. You're right. That's a great idea. We should all just ignore everything. Don't pay attention to anything. We'll be really good. We'll leave cookies and milk out. And when Jesus comes down on his sleigh to pick us all up during the rapture, everything will be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going that route, brother. Sorry about that. At any rate, the same people that are running up the national debt, the same people that took everybody's job and sent it to another country, the same people that absolutely raped every natural resource out of the U.S. and sent it elsewhere, and then the same people that are fracking when there's free energy that's been around forever, for absolutely ever. These same people are giving us great little excuses in Time Magazine why the birds and bees and everything else are dying. So don't worry about it. Because as long as there's an excuse, most of the American people are good with it. It's all good. You know, oh, well, you know, everything's died off. But Time Magazine said it was okay. You know, it basically comes down to, you know, global warming almost every time. Everything is global warming. Other countries either don't allow genetically modified foods or they at least tell you the, the the food product that you're buying is genetically modified. Here in the home of the brave and the home of the free and the home of whatever, home of the whopper. Where is it? You guys remember this little uh, wacky thing? Because it still stands. Obama signing the Dark Act. We're Americans. We walk around. We're free. Everything. We're free. We're free. We're not even allowed to know. It's not even, it's not even, yeah, Claudia, calm down, dude, all right? Calm down. Or leave. Again, don't even know who you are at any rate. The fact that a president could come in here and sign a bill where it's none of your business what's in your food that you're paying for, that should have been a torch and pitch, pitchfork moment. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't. A lot of people got mad, but the mainstream just covered it up. And this, this was a long, long time ago. This was Obama, remember? Obama. Exactly. I think that's funny, too, but it's but it's true. At any rate, this is how far they're going to go with it. The food, the air. You guys remember this one? It's old, but it still happened. And turns out it's still happening. And I'll tell you what, just because they got caught in one place doesn't mean it's not happening everywhere else, because it is. Remember Flint's water crisis? Dude, that was off the hook. That was completely uncalled for. These people were drinking lead. The effects from this still aren't surfacing as of yet. And when these people start getting cancer, like we just learned at the beginning of this live stream, it's fast and it's ugly. Absolutely ugly. Oh, you've got cancer? Well, quick, we're going we're gonna to put some radiation in your body to fix the cancer. Um, I'm not a rocket scientist, but uh, seeing how there's no such thing. Really? But doesn't it seem like something that they claim that can give you cancer isn't the cure for cancer? And yet that's what everybody hangs their hat on. Do you know what I'm saying? Every single solitary. Oh, you've got, you're sick. You've got leukemia. We're going to start shooting you with chemo and you'll be all set till your bank account's completely empty and your insurance doesn't cover it anymore. And then it's a wrap. They tell you you're sick. How do you know? You don't have a home cancer test kit. You know what I mean? People, it's, <sighs> my grandfather was 65 years old. He retired from the Lynn police station and he took, he took me in a foot race across the street. I think I was like 18 and he beat me in a foot race and I was in really good shape. He beat me in a foot race. He went to the doctor. No big deal. There was no problems. Actually, sir, you've got leukemia. As soon as they told him he was sick, he was sick and he went out. It was ugly it was so it sucked 
One of the worst things in my entire life. And you'd think that I would have lived my life correctly to like honor him. I didn't. Turns out later in life, I actually took care of his wife in her last five years, my Nana. So hopefully, hopefully that counts for something in the long run. But who knows? I don't know at any rate. So killing the animals, spraying the skies, blocking out the sun. And it really, it, it just boggles my entire mind or what's left of it that the powers that be blocking out the sun, you can just open the window and, oh, there they are. Blocking out the sun isn't a topic all day, every day, constantly, everywhere. Not celebrities, not nonsense, not directed energy, all this other crap. I mean, if there was directed energy burning down everything, yeah, it'd be a topic. But believe it or not, blocking out the sun, it's having a cumulative effect on all of us. And it's happening every single solitary m and and day. You can't miss it. You cannot miss it. But they're doing that. And then that's killing the trees, which is making the trees much more flammable. And they're also coating the entire planet plain. <gasps> Oh, stop typing. Stop. He just said planet. It's, it's, I love that. I love that. I'm saying plan for like 47 years. It takes a little bit. They're coating the entire living surface that we find ourselves on called Earth with barium, strontium, and aluminum. And then they're out to sea spraying aluminum and iron. Well, if you mix that all up in a big pot, put a couple of semi-sweet chocolate morsels in there, you've got thermite cookies. They've covered the entire place with thermite. It's Sparklers is a good analogy, but thermite's been around for years. We've known what it was. It's, it's the active ingredients. That's how you want it. You want to burn a place down? You want to blow a place up? Who knows? Who knows? Exactly. It's Gaia. I know. It's Gaia. It's Gaia. Yeah. Here's the deal. I'm going to worry about the people living on Gaia as opposed to addressing Gaia by her name. All right. So let's not, you know, I'm not going to, it's bad enough that I'm basically kind of a long haired hippie activist. I'm an activist. I'm worried about animals and trees and such. I never thought that was going to happen, but I'm not going to call Earth Gaia. So thanks anyway for stopping by. Yeah. You mean the same Max Egan that I used to have on all the time? That one, Michael Griffin? I love how new people show up and they think they're enlightening you. Just They're just exposing themselves. So I find that funny. So spraying the skies, killing the animals, poisoning your food, refusing to tell, refusing to let you know if you're buying poison or not. It's none of your business. You know what I'm saying? No big deal. Running the national debt absolutely through the roof. Poisoning the water to the point where it's so bad it's in the news, but people still don't seem to care. There you go. Indeed. Absolutely. You bet. All right. Too many. And when too many people start noticing, what do they do? They simply sell out to somebody else by doing things like, let me see if I can find it. I can. Remember this little okie, okie doke they pulled on everyone when Bear bought uh, Monsanto and they changed their name, but it still turns out it's the same evil entity twice over because not only was Monsanto, I mean, it blows me away that we live any place that people think is a free country and yet corporations can take something, something as honest and wholesome to me, in my opinion, as farming, as farming. I ain't no farmer. I'm from the city, man. Farmers, you got to get up when the sun comes up. You got to go to bed when the sun goes down. You're out there. I mean, it is work. You are. It's like going up. It's like going to a maximum security federal penitentiary or basic training all day, every day to feed the rest of the country. And then our government, duly elected demo democratic government, allows these corporations to literally make seeds that are patented that can float over the fence, contaminate your crop, contaminate your crop, and then they can sue you. That's a thing. How bad of a thing is that? It's a bad thing. It's a bad, bad thing. And for all those people that think that Donald Trump was <laughs> picked by God, chosen by God, or whatever nonsensical bullshit they're coming up with, let me show you this little funny, little wacky thing. 
amid Trump's tariffs, farms, bankruptcies, and suicides rise. Imagine that. But they were bad before that. This is Forbes magazine, August 30th, 2019. Yeah. Imagine that in America, one of the most honest professions you could possibly do for a living, farming the land, taking the dirt, farming the land, and making food for the rest of the country was perverted, corporatized, and sold out to the point where these people that have worked their asses off their entire lives, I drive by their abandoned farms now by the hundreds, and then all you see are these enormous, big giant corporate Monsanto or Bayer because they changed their name. So they went from a company that was patenting seeds that could only, are you serious? If you're a troll, dude, I'll hunt you. Uh, if you're her son, hit me up in an email, rjcjr10 at yahoo.com. I fixed that email. And if you're a troll, I'm taking a ride. I'm not kidding, because that would be really effed up, all right? Because I didn't want to ask the woman that told me, if you are her son, that your mom died. But um, let me know, all right? At any rate. All right, I got to get back to this, because I will totally, completely forget. All right, so check this out. So in the in the in the free de de democratic country that we live that we live in, thank you, Undertaker. Um, Bayer was allowed to buy Monsanto to, I guess, put a, a better face on it because too many people knew what Monsanto was up to, making seeds that literally thrive in aluminum. Aluminum isn't a naturally found topsoil element. Do you see what I'm saying? So how would why would Monsanto be making seeds that were resistant to aluminum if they didn't know what was coming down from the sky? They did. Long story short, Bear sweeps in for $66 billion. I think it was actually 66.6, .6, but I don't want to be dramatic. $66 billion. And most people don't realize that Bear was selling aspirin that was tainted with AIDS. How in the world do you have a a facility that makes medications for people that somehow got tainted with AIDS to the point where people got AIDS from taking your, I mean, that's not tainted. That's smoked. That's a, that's a hot shot. You know, that's you, you take an aspirin and you get AIDS. People find out about it. The government goes bear. Stop doing that. That's not cool. You're giving people AIDS. We don't like that. And bears like, dude, seriously, our bad. We didn't mean to do that. We'll stop selling the AIDS tainted aspirin in the United States. Instead, we'll ship it to Asia and Mexico where so they can get AIDS. And they did. And that's pretty much the end of the story. This is where we live right now. Right now. Every single one of these things that I'm complaining about, complaining. Yeah, what a dick I am. Yeah, there's no more birds. There's no more sun. The water's poison. Don't know what I'm eating anymore. I'm such a dick. What a complex. I should just sit down and watch television and see who's playing on the latest NFL team. Did it? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I do need a Brad. I don't know what that even is. It's not something gay, right? I hope not. At any rate, yeah. Yeah, when I get going, my voice gets very raspy. So yeah, so that was that was that was our government a while ago. Cause this, everything I just told you, I made videos about years ago. It's old news. I was complaining about that back then. What does the hospital have to do with the serpent? The the caduceus? Is that what it is? Moses staff, magic, magi, man, pharmacia, oldest, oldest, oldest. All this sorcery mentioned in the Bible. Like your shirt today. Spice. Yeah, I don't actually use Spicer. I use Toyota. Spice it. My truck will eat Spicer. You joints. FYI. <clears throat> so there is that on that particular note. This one bums me out bad, and I wish more people knew about it. The fact that farmers are taking themselves out because they have no way. I mean, You've been a farmer your whole life. They steal the business out from under you or Monsanto literally sues you out of business because, I mean, as ridiculous as that sounds, somebody's Monsanto 
contaminates your field, Monsanto sues you for using their patent. You know, a, a seed gets shat out of a bird or whatever and grows in your yard and they can sue and the United States government holds that up. Yeah, same government that doesn't care if what you think about spraying the skies, same government that doesn't care if you go to war for 12, 13, 14 years, the same government that doesn't care if a million people get killed for nothing. We all got to answer for that. Seriously, that's a real thing. We all got to answer for that. Man is appointed to die once, and then there is judgment. Do you know what I'm saying? For everyone that chanted, USA, you, well, we were bombing Iraq, so forth and so on, and killing those people. They didn't do anything. They didn't do anything. Osama bin Laden wasn't even on the FBI's top 10 list because they didn't have enough proof that he did 9-11. Because... Um, I don't have a cell phone signal down the street in the year 2020, but homeboy was in a cave in Afghanistan coordinating the biggest hit ever. He was so good at, according to their story, Osama bin Laden was so good at coordinating hijackings that he suspended physics for the day, causing two buildings to fall faster than free fall or at free fall, which is impossible. It's physically impossible. And yet, it happened, and there, there's that. It's like the bullet that shot Kennedy. Shot him once, it turned around, it shot his friend, it shot another guy through the wrist, shot a couple of other people, shot Kennedy one more time, turned his four-seater into a six-seater, back to a four-seater again. You know what I mean? This is where we live. And they know this, and they watch us on social media. So one of them's watching us right now. Ten of them are in the chat right now. It is what it is. Social media... Myself and Anthony Patch told you back in 2015, 2016, it escapes me right now, that these guys have been playing a game using social media. They can literally, exactly, Suzanne, they can literally pull off an event and make changes on the fly based on what people are tweeting, Instagramming, and quacking about on YouTube right there and then. Bang, bang, boom. You know what I'm saying? And they do. And they're watching how everybody just, you know, there's a great awakening happening. Yeah, great awakening, I suppose. I suppose. But it ain't great enough because nothing's changed. They were still spraying the skies today. I got really high quality footage of it. I don't know how Mike Decker gets it. I even got a I got a three gear tripod and I can't keep it zoomed all the way out on the plane as it's going by. Mike Decker is the man. If you didn't know that, now you do. Did you know about this? I mean, the farmers, let's, I'm going to let go of that, but that breaks my heart. But it doesn't break my heart as, well, yeah, I guess maybe it does, as much as the birds and bees and everything else, because that's a bad thing for people. Where is it? Where is it? Stand by. Stand by. Here it is. When I showed you that story about Flint, a lot of people were like, oh, my God, dude, that's an old story. Those people live in the ghetto, and I don't care. Well, you should care because I've lived in the ghetto. I've been homeless. You should care about other people because it happens in the twinkling of an eye. But I'll digress on that. But you see this little wacky little story? I'm going to pop this in the chat so you can peruse this on your own time. But the same great guys I've been telling you about this entire time have also gone and built nuclear power plants on every single source of water in the United States. Do you know what I mean? Every fresh stream and river in the United States, they've built a nuclear facility and every single solitary one of them draw in fresh water and then dump out really polluted water. And when the, le the levels get too high, they simply buy the Nuclear Regulatory Commission and then they change the numbers. So we're all being flinted. We just don't know it. You know what I'm saying? There is no more clean drinking water in the United States. When I was a kid, there was no such thing as bottled water. The fact that people even, no pun intended, swallowed bo bottled water, hook, line, and sinker is bad. The fact that Nestle was even allowed to walk around talking about they want to own the water. 
And that was a thing for a while until somebody just told him to shut up. You know what I'm saying? Mike Decker is heroic. But I guarantee you, they still own the water. I mean, how many states aren't allowed to collect rainwater? That's a real thing. There's a rain tax in, what state was I in? I should be your life coach and role model. I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I think I was in Oklahoma, and there's a rain tax. I know there's a rain tax in New Jersey, and I know there's several other states where you're not allowed to collect rainwater. That's insane. When did we give up all of that? Do you see what I mean? Because we did. We absolutely did. These guys are spraying. They're not asking anybody's opinion. They put the dark act in place. They didn't ask anybody's opinion. They polluted every stream and river in this United States in my lifetime. Didn't ask anybody's opinion. And people are still walking around putting their body armor on. They better not mess with the Second Amendment. The Constitution doesn't apply to us. Do you see what I'm saying? You think they're gonna? They're worried about the Second Amendment? Dude, check this out. Want to see a little, little funny little wacky thing? Check this out. You can have all the guns you want. I've been saying this for a couple of years now. Actually, a few years, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hazard to say. But when all that 5G and whatever they're putting into the sky, claiming it's Starlink, when all that is up and running and they decide, yeah, let's take them out. All they have to do is flip the switch. If you've been targeted, and I know a lot of you in there know exactly what I'm talking about, targeted for real. When you get targeted, you can't move. You're frozen. You think it's a complete and total coincidence that in the last few years when the word targeted individuals started popping up, when people like myself and Nicholson and others were starting to talk about being targeted, that they were saying, oh, there's a thing called sleep paralysis. It was so bad, the mainstream had to put a name on it. Sleep paralysis, sleep paralysis. That's what it was. It was targeted individuals. I'm all about fighting when it's legit. If somebody's being victimized and I see it, I'm the stupid idiot, apparently. I say that because I've ended up locked up numerous times for helping out somebody else. And, you know, the judge saying, hey, you did the right thing. You just went overboard. That's great to hear. But then I still go to the can. So that sucks. I'm down for a fight. I would fight for this country, no problem. Even though I know how corrupt and disgusting and everything else, I would fight. It's in my nature. It's in most of your natures. The thing is, these guys have been warning us for years. And yet, we're going to take your guns. And then they don't. Going to take your guns. Clinton's going to take your guns. Obama's going to take your guns. Oh, Trump's in. Democrats won. Going to take your guns. What does that allow to happen? Allows everyone to go out and get more guns, get more guns. They know they're doing this. You know why? They own the gun companies. So they're making money right next to the money they're stealing, right next to the money they're not paying back, right next to the money they're stealing from other countries that they're democratizing. They don't care. The reason 5G is going up so fast and the reason whatever they're doing in the sky is going up, it's a control system. It's going to let them target people instantaneously. That's why there's so many of them. Millimeter wave is an active denial system. I've been telling you this for a long time. A lot of people have been telling you this for a long time. What? Yeah, all right. Why why do people what, what why do people do that? I'm being censored. Good for you. Welcome to America. What am I talking about here? You really need to put it in big words? Who cares? I'm being censored, blocking my comments as I'm highlighting and reading your comment. They don't care that we've got guns. Every single organized organized crime group, motorcycle, club, etc. in the United States has been successfully infiltrated to the point where they had their own clubhouses and such. They've infiltrated everything. Now, organized crime are the governments of the countries. And most of the militaries, to be perfectly honest, I hate to say that. I absolutely hate to say that. I'm from a family where every male in the family went to war. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what we do. It's all good. All about it. Obama did his purge and got rid of every... Will you 
stick up for the Constitution? Will you fire on American citizens? Depending on how you answered, you were gone. The purge? Look at it now, man. And even if the military did stand up, we don't want to be here. No matter how it works out, we're effed. Because if suddenly the military said, wait a minute, the national debt's out of control. Richie from Boston's right. You can't drink any water. You can't collect rainwater. All the birds and bees are dead because you know how military guys worry about birds and bees, right? 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 We're taking the country back, foreign and domestic. We're going to live under really bad martial law because military guys suck at running countries. You know what I'm saying? It would be hectic and ugly. You think the cops are bad? Check out a recon Marine helping you stop resisting stop you know what i mean yeah it would be worse so that yeah targeted individual israel which is crazy you're even in the chat that i just brought this topic up because i was just well how about that that's what 5g is we already know that what are they putting up in the sky i don't know because they put so many 5g towers up every dude they put three up around my house last year and i didn't even see them do it directly around my house i make a video the mainstream news shows up the next day makes a video on the exact same spot trying to debunk me oh these are super happy fun antennas and they you know whatever you already know the story or you should i'm aware i'm aware so long story short it's gonna get really really bad really bad the middle east geoengineering Virginia, and there's going to be more events. I'm waiting for some sort of a, a mass event type thing like Oklahoma or 9-11 again. I think that would be helpful for them, and I wouldn't put it past them because it seems like things have sped up exponentially. Look how much shit just happened in, in 2020. 2020 just started like 15 minutes ago. Yesterday, I still thought it was August. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm my bad. Yesterday, I thought it was July. The day before, I thought it was August. That's how long it's been 2020. And look how much shit's gone down already. I do not in any way whatsoever at all. And I've spoken to several, several people that are very, very well versed in the Bible and have been for a long time. And there's no rapture. When Jesus comes down, all hell will have broken out on earth already. Do you see what I'm saying? I think we're watching it happen. So that's my opinion. At any rate, at any rate, Richie from Boston. What day is it? Saturday? I fasted. I do not dig fasting. It's crazy that I'll completely forget to eat all day, but I won't call it fasting. And I'll be like, oh, man, it's 530. I didn't even eat. I got to eat. But then when I intentionally fast, it's like I'm so hungry. I can't stand it. I'm so hungry. And then I forget to pray, so then I got to go pray. And then while I'm praying, I forget that I'm praying. Heavenly Father, I come to you through Yeshua. Oh, look at that. You know, I hope he's cool. I hope he understands. At any rate, you'll be happy to know that I pray for discernment and not to lead anyone down the wrong path. So there's that. At any rate, Richie from Boston. Don't like, don't share, don't subscribe because it don't matter. And I'm out.